All right, welcome back to another video. So this video, I'm going to show you an automation that I just built. It was like really complex and I've just really simpled it, uh, simplified it down into four steps here. And the entire automation is gonna help you when you're writing your content. Uh, when you sit down to write, you know, sometimes you just, you're staring at a blank screen, maybe a brain fog, you haven't had your cup of coffee yet in the morning, right? Or it's, it's been a long day at work, it's nighttime, you're trying to get the week's worth of content batched out. Um, this is gonna help you not only generate content ideas on demand, but it also uses chat GPT, or I should say GPT-4, to generate specific ideas, content ideas, based on a list of, a database list of 400 hooks that I have saved, that I've seen work in copywriting and social content. And it will give you seven ideas at each stage of your customer's journey. So there's the people who are problem unaware. They have no idea they have a problem or what the problem is or that there was even a problem. The second stage is they're problem aware. So now they know they have the problem, but they have no idea how to fix it. No, no idea that there was a solution to it. Third stage is gonna be solution aware. So people that probably a little bit more like middle of your funnel, once you've de-platform them off of social media, you bring them into your newsletter, into your list, you know, things like YouTube videos, explainer videos like this, the people that are aware that make.com, which you're looking at right now is an automated solution for stuff like this. So you're aware of the solution. And then stage four, which is the most important, it's the end of the customer's buying journey. They understand that you are the solution, that you have the products and solutions to fix all of their problems but they're trying to trust you. They're, they're trying to figure out why you are the one that they should trust and hand over their hard-earned money to. So those are the four stages. And this entire workflow is gonna generate content ideas or hooks, if you will, based on each stage of the journey. Um, so how this works, this watches a Google Drive folder so if you're writing your content inside of Google Drive, maybe a Google Doc, right? This is just my simple workflow, but you can iterate this on however you write. You could do it in Evernote, really anything, right? Um, it watches the Google Drive folder for when a new document is created within that folder. And let's say that document is created. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna say, I gotta move this. Loom is always in the way on the left-hand side. Let's do new, let's do a new Google Doc, right? So here's the new Google Doc, content ideas, writing session, March 6th, 2024, boom, All right? So now I save this. So now this new file is in the folder, right? This is a brand new file that was just created. There it is, just showed up. And I don't have this running automatically right now, just because I want to show you the test purposes. But if you're on the free plan for Make, this will run, at, you can schedule it to run every 15 minutes. But in this case, we're actually going to run it once. And what's going to happen is it's, I have my massive prompt for this specific GPT session, this writing idea session. It basically, um, lists my summary of who I am, my business, how I help my customers, like what I do at the top of my funnel, middle of my funnel, right? Where I'm creating content. It gives the AI the four stages in the customer's journey and then tells them what I tells it what I need its help with, right? So creating, developing topics and ideas for social media content and email newsletter content. The goal is to move the prospect down our funnel from one stage to the next, eventually purchasing a core product or service. Can you suggest seven ideas for each of the four stages? Respond with these 28 content ideas in a list format. Do not include a summary, only return the stage and your list of content ideas for each. Here's a list of 400 hooks to use as the basis for each idea. And if you scroll through, I mean, this, this is just a massive list that I've accumulated, right? And I put it all in here as a template. They're like hook templates. You don't even need 400. I mean, if you have like a solid 50 to rotate through, that's all you really need. It might save you some cost on the GPT um, prompt as well. So let's go back to, so now you've seen where the prompt is, right? So here's where the watches for the new file, new files in there. It goes and grabs that cell, that prompt, the text within that cell. 
and then it goes over into OpenAI. And with GPT-4, basically the message content, right? So the, the prompt is gonna be the value of this cell. So now you don't have to go into your automation every time and you have to change the prompt or like look through this little teeny text box of information. It will just pick up the prompt from here. So if you ever need to edit the prompt, maybe it's not working for you, just edit in the Google Sheet. You don't have to dive into make every time. Um, so it will run the prompt and then it will insert this information into the file that it saw that was created, the brand new file that was created within this folder. And I have just a little uh, sort of a outline here. It's gonna say, here's your ideas for today's writing session. The date time is gonna have a timestamp with the date. And then it's gonna say ideas and it's gonna run through all of our stages, right? So let's run this. And you'll see how this works specifically. So it went bam, there's the new file. Bam, we grab the prompt. Now, if you see the timer here on make for the open AI module, this will slowly tick away. I believe I have the max token set to 600. If there's, it's defaults to 300 tokens in this setting and it's too short for me. I, it usually just craps out um, when it gets to like 18 or 19 ideas. And we want 28, seven for each of the four stages. So I upped it to 600. I'm not sure if that's a good enough token size yet, but we'll see. And bam, that's success. And then it inserts the output of the GPT prompt, like what GPT gave it to, gave us those ideas. It will insert into this document. So there you go. Here's your ideas for today's writing session. Date time, here's the date time stamp. Here's the ideas, problem aware. There's all these hooks that's pulling from. The easiest way to identify hidden business pain points, five steps in under the five minutes. Problem aware, struggle with time management, me too. X ways that I'm working on a better me. Uh, boost your productivity growth, three simple strategies. Fix 80% of your time management pains with one strategy. Learn the basics of automation, right? It's, it's some somewhat of the ideas it's, it's inserting, you know, from its learning of what my business and my value prop is to my customers. But as you see here, like problem unaware, right? Do you wanna grow your business by X? Do this. X reasons now is the time to scrutinize your routine. So it's not even really talking about automation, right? Looking to amplify your productivity. Here are X generic goals to hit any target. So it's kind of like, it's hovering around this idea of like, you need to be more productive, time management, project management, whatever it is, right? Um, and it also like solo venture. So my target customers are solopreneurs, freelancers, agency owners, one person businesses that I help, you know, with no code automations and systems. So it will give you some okay information. You're going to have to obviously, these are just ideas. You're gonna have to obviously edit these. But when you sit down to write, now you have at least 28 ideas to pick from. And you can sit down and say, you know, today I'm going to write to the people who are solution aware. So how do you achieve seamless business operations? Automate here are five advantages to consider. If you're aware there's a solution for your workflow problems, discover how systemizing your process can be game changer. This, this word game changer for some reason is like the dead giveaway that it was GPT that wrote your shit. Uh, this is kind of cool. Stop scrolling one new automation hack that can transform your daily routine. I love this hook. How I built an efficient workflow system for under $100. That's cool. Um, Say goodbye to manual scheduling. Say hello to automated appointment setting, right? So if I just wanted to grab this idea, bam. So say goodbye to manual content ideas. Say goodbye to content. Uh, say goodbye to content ideas. Or I, I, you could probably even say like struggling, struggling to come up with fresh or engaging 
attractive or sexy is probably a good word. Sexy content ideas, right? Question, right? Yep. And then not to say hello to like, here's my, uh, no code automation that helps me write content across seven social media channels. Here's my, here's a gorgeous, gorgeously simple automation that helps me write content that now not helps me write. It's going to be that gives me 28 content ideas in 28 seconds. There you go. Boom. So this is a pretty cool hook and bam. Now I can go ahead and start writing my post. So this is how you can like generate some really cool content ideas based on each stage of the customer journey. And if you liked this, subscribe.